in this lesson we are going to connect to mysql from vs code as a first step we need to install one extension called sql tools let me go to extensions type sql tools and we can see this particular icon sql tools we can see the author information and the current number of downloads click on install the extension is installed now and you can see this particular icon is appearing over here which is for sql tools let me close this click on sql tools click add new connection on the right hand side there is a message could not find any installed drivers this extension connects to different databases using the associated drivers so we need to install the driver to connect to mysql what we can do we can go back to extensions once again and we can search with SQL tools, but we already have the search result. If you notice below, there are different entries. Let me expand this. Now you can see different entries, SQL tools, MySQL, MariaDB, SQL tools, Postgres, and many other entries are also there. These are actually the drivers. Let me select this. You can see this package is part of VS Code SQL tools extension. Click on install. Installation is complete closing all this now we have the sql tools extension installed and the sql tools related associated driver that is also installed click on this sql tools icon we can click on this add new connection or here there is another icon called add new connection click on this here we can see the same icons under connection assistant this is for mysql one important thing in my local system i have mysql instance already running if i open my workbench i have multiple databases like demo db demo db2 sys etc for this demo db i have an existing table called employees and within employees i have some records now going back to vs code click on this mysql provide a connection name naming this mysql test connect using server and port there are other options also like socket file connection string etc keeping it as is server address localhost port no change 3306 database let me mention the name over here username in my case it is the root user for password there are different options like sql tools driver credentials ask on connect use empty password save as plain text i'm going to use this one if required we can use this mysql driver specific options i'm skipping this connection timeout show records default limit I'm keeping as is in case you need bigger connection timeout you can mention the value over here clicking on test connection here vs code is showing a message that this particular extension wants to sign in using sql tools driver credentials click on allow providing the password over here alternatively you can use this particular option it is saying optionally use this key button to store password securely until you sign out using the accounts menu let me press enter successfully connected click on save connection now here it is telling me this is my connection and its settings is saved as this particular json and on the left hand side under sql tools i can see this particular connection over here you can see this icon like a plug if i click on this it would get connected now this is connected and here you can see a green dot when it is active this one appears let me disconnect it it's gone again let me connect here if you expand the databases would be shown as my user is the root user that's why apart from demo db i can see other database also let me expand demo db tables and views are there if i expand tables i have the employees table if i expand the table then the table structure is shown let me make it little bit bigger here the column details are shown if i right click on employee i can show the table records and on the right hand side this is the session let me just run a simple select query so once i type in the code completion feature is available click this button to run this query so here on the right hand side we can see the query execution result let me adjust the size a little bit at the bottom you can see we can rerun the query we can export the data as well if you want to export you can just click on this export button and it would provide you the option to select a file type whether it is csv or json or you just want to copy it to your clipboard that way you can export the data as well pressing escape same thing i can do from the left hand side if i right click on the table we can show the table records let me try that out if i close this one the old one this is the result of the operation that i performed like show table records if i right click again there are other options we can describe the table here we have all the column details we can also generate the insert query 
So this is how we can connect to MySQL database staying within VS Code. Once done, you can just disconnect the connection over here. And in case you don't need it, you can just delete the connection. So this is how using this SQL tools extension, we can connect to MySQL database from VS Code.